listen to me, you hillbilly punk who thinks the world's still round. I'm here to tell you it's not. It's flat. <laughs> Interesting guy, man, and uh, you know he believes it. So, Kyrie, yeah, the Earth is flat, right? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, whatever. The earth is flat. That's news. That's news. Here we go. <laughs> Wherever you are, make it. Make it. T T T. Truth Frequency Radio. Broadcasting straight to you from a large spaceship, currently anchored over Raleigh, North Carolina, eagerly awaiting the 2017 International Flat Earth Conference coming this fall. Meanwhile, the peanut gallery is in a spaceship anchored over the Midwest breadbasket. We gotta come up with something better for that. Hello everyone and welcome to Strange World, where the truth is often stranger than fiction. I'm your host, Mark Sargent, the creator of Flat Earth Clues, which propose that all of us are living inside a Truman Show enclosed structure thousands of miles wide. Check it out at enclosedworld.com or just Google Flat Earth Clues. If you can't find it, well, that's because you're distracted from all the fun mainstream news that's coming down the pipe. And quite a bit of it is Flat Earth, by the way. Uh, let's see here. For those of you listening to this on YouTube and you want to hear the show live as it happens, please go to Truth Frequency Radio for the latest schedule. Currently, the show is on Tuesday nights at 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. And if it is not September 26, 2017, you are listening to a rerun, in which case you can't call into the phone lines and talk to me live. You're just going to have to call in and leave a message. Just saying. Quote of the day from the peanut gallery goes a little something like this. The real accomplishment of modern science and technology consists in taking ordinary men, informing them narrowly and deeply, and then, through appropriate organization, arranging to have their knowledge combined with that of other specialized but equally ordinary men. This dispenses with the need for genius. The resulting performance, though less inspiring, is far more predictable. And who said that? John Kenan, oh, sorry, John Kenneth Galbraith. And I don't know who he is. Just letting you know. Uh, a couple of announcements before we get to the phones. You know what? Let's go out the phone number now just to get a head start on this. Phone number to call in. Uh, you can use the main line, 213-233-3998. That is 213-233-3998. Or an old standby favorite, 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111. And the peanut gallery. Nope, nope. These are people that are messaging me saying other things. That's fine. All right, let's get back to the messages. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you're calling in from the UK, which it might be, that number is 44203-393-2871. Yes, I got that peanut gallery. And if you want to call in and just listen to it on your phone and you don't want to worry about me picking you up, that number is 641-793-7117. 
All right. The let's see here. Announcement. It's announcements. The Flat Earth Conference coming up November 9th in Raleigh, North Carolina. If you have not gotten your tickets yet, I don't know if there's any left at this point. I, I knew there was just a handful last week. I don't think there's any. I know the VP, VIPs are long gone. Uh, if you have not gotten your tickets left yet, go to the website fe2017.com. Check to see if they're under the extra ticket section. If you don't know where the extra ticket section is, email me. I'll send you the link. Otherwise, you're going to have to go for streaming, which is cool, just as cool. I hear they're going to do a professional production on that. So check out the streaming stuff, and you can get early bird streaming, or you can wait to the last day. A lot of people are just going to drive down. I encourage you to go down there and invade Charlotte, North Carolina anyway. I'm sorry, Raleigh, North Carolina. Don't invade Charlotte, because that would be the wrong city. And while you're down there, you can say hi to everybody. So check that out if you get a chance. Jeffrey Grupp, debate challenge, still in effect. If you guys don't know it by now, ask somebody. Sounds like college, doesn't it? Uh, big money challenge, though, is in effect. And if you want more information on that, and that's if anybody in the academic world wants to challenge the flat earthers, want to prove it's a globe, there's money in it for you if you can do it. I don't think you can, but if you try, you might get something out of it. You might learn something. You can email Kathy Dunson at perilandra77 at gmail.com. That is P E R E L A N D R A 77 at gmail.com D-I-T-R-H otherwise known as Deep Inside the Rabbit Holes doing a billboard that's going up near the conference center uh, the GoFundMe is called A Stranger's Guide to F.E. Billboard it's going to run this month and next month and November in fact it should be already up by now but if you're interested check that out if you get a chance also I am going to be attending the next Flat Earth meetup in Los Angeles, California, Pasadena, to be more specific. It's going to be, I think, October 8th. And this group is actually flying me down. You're probably saying, Mark, why did you diss Vancouver and other cities? Like, look, these guys actually bought me a ticket and a hotel and said, hey, we'll, we'll send you down here. So if I disappear down in Los Angeles, you'll know what happened. So, uh, yeah, I will be in L.A. Uh, the 7th of October. I know the documentary team is going to be hanging out with me for a little bit. But I am curious, anyone that's down there in the Los Angeles area, remember, it's going to be in Pasadena. We haven't picked a venue yet. And really, sports bars, you know, I've done six of these things already. And some sort of sports bar, not even a sports bar, a quiet bar is better than, than nothing. A lounge, a wine bar, a, I don't know, anything. Anything where, where you can sit comfortably and talk to people and they have food and drinks and bathrooms. That's usually the way to go. So if anyone has recommendations for somewhere in Pasadena or near Pasadena, uh, I'd love to hear them. Email them to me or you can call in during the show. And we can talk about it. You know what? I haven't even looked at the phone lines yet. And we do have a call waiting on hold. I will pick that up in a second. But the topic for tonight, in fact, there's so many things happening. Uh, yep, yeah, well, I uh, got it. And yep, one of my friends down in San Diego is listening to this. That's great. And uh, the topic for tonight, there's two really big stories that came out since our last show. In fact, they came out really recently. First is the NBA basketball superstar guard, Kyrie Irving, who was LeBron James' teammate on the Cleveland Cavaliers, has been traded to the Boston Celtics. And since he's got a report for training camp here really soon, he's been doing local interviews down in Boston. And surprise, surprise, he's trying to make a good impression. But we'll talk about this a little bit. And he's trying, they're, they're interpreting it that he's backpedaling. The Boston people do not want to believe that he's still involved in Flat Earth. So they're interpreting his words as backpedaling. I will leave it up to you guys to decide that. We'll talk about that. The other story, which is even bigger than that one, because that was all over the, the sports section, because the, the the bigger story, which is over mainstream, in fact, it was on Time Magazine just uh, this morning, was that rapper... B.O.B., who, if you remember, was nominated for a Grammy, I believe, back in 2010. He is starting a GoFundMe page where he is trying to prove the flat earth. And it has raised more than a few eyebrows. I mean, he doesn't – obviously, he does – it's going to get kind of mixed results because he doesn't need the money. But we'll talk about it. Anyway, look that up if you get a chance. All you have to do is go into Google, type in flat earth, click on news or not even click on news. It should show up on the main page. And that is you'll see the two big stories. B.O.B., Grammy-nominated rapper, talking about flat earth more, and then Kyrie Irving backpedaling – 
But of course, you got uh, Sammy Watkins from the LA Rams receiver. He's on board, and then our Boston Celtic guy. He's on board. So there's all sorts of people that are that are talking about this. So let's discuss it, shall we? Or we can discuss other things too. Phone number to call in is two one three two three 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 nine nine eight. That number again is 213-233-3998, or the old standby still works. I've got it forwarded over to that number, which is 720-897-6111. And if you don't know those numbers by now, you can always go to the trailers that I'm putting up on YouTube. The phone number is in there in big, bold letters. So that even if you're partially blind, you'll be able to see it. Okay, I think I've got that all the way. Is there anything anything left on here that I need to talk about? All these fun little announcements. Let's pick up the phones, and oh boy, who is at the top of the list? It looks like Beverly Hills, California. I can't think of a better way to open the show than with talking to Beverly Hills, California. So let's see what we can see. Beverly Hills, are you there? <laughs> Hey, you're Mark. On, hey, you're Mark, on. probably know who it is. Uh, yeah, you know, I got a funny feeling I know who it is. Who is going to be harassing me during the show? So I'm encouraging any other people right now to, to please jam up the phone lines behind them so that I don't get called two and, th- two and three times during the evening by these fun guys living in Beverly Hills. All right, what what is going on? What can I do for you this Dude, evening? Dude, Mark, I'm, it's Andy. It's Andy. I'm finally going to meet you when you come to my city. Oh, so you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna. You heard about the meetup I just announced. You're gonna be there. I just heard it. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll yeah, be there. I just. I mean, I. It, this was something that was kind of in the works for the last three or four weeks, and the uh, the group ponied up. And they say, you know, I. It's like, hey, if you want to take, wow. send me, send me down there. I absolutely will do it. And they said, all right, <laughs> we'll we'll fly you down. It's like, shit, I would have pitched in to get you out here. Ah, uh, well, no maybe next time. I mean, it's cool. I mean, because there's been, you know, there's been right. meetups in Rancho, Cucamonga, Santa Monica. Yeah, that's a little and, further away. Yeah, yeah. And this one, I'm actually flying into the uh, Ontario airport for this one. So it's, Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, because there's three airports down there. If the uh, You got LAX, you got John Wayne, you got mm-hmm. Ontario. And if you really go out into the Thule's, you got Palm Springs. But uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be fun. So I'm going to come in on the 7th and I think I'm going to leave on the afternoon of the 9th and the documentary team is going to meet with me sometime during that day and it'll be great. So yeah, but hopefully I'll run into you guys, but you'll have to, you know. Yeah, yeah man. So hey, we got a couple questions here. It's Ross. It's Ross. Ross and Andy. Ross and Andy. Right. Got it. We no, want to no. know. Yeah. Ross and Andy. All right. Ross and Andy from Beverly Hills. Got it. <laughs> Yeah, I want to know, well, we wanted to know about the shrinking earth that Admiral Byrd said. He had mentioned the the shrinking earth, something about, I don't know, it's shrinking. And he didn't go too into specifics about it, but I was, like, kind of curious. He said at an thought. alarming rate, though. He said at an alarming rate. No, 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 no. He was talking about, well, okay, mm-hmm. there were, there was two things. One, he was kind of speaking metaphorically because he was he was talking about how the world had gotten very, very small. But I also think you, I think you picked up on that where he was also talking physically, which is he was saying, you know, everyone's yeah, saying, he said well, it's, it's shrinking. Yeah, well, it was it wasn't shrinking in the way that we were saying it basically had already shrunk. He was saying that he was kind of being cryptic. He was saying meaning that, what? well, that, that the world may have a border to it, meaning so if it's not a globe, if it's it, it, because most people. <laughs> Most people, when they That's think funny. of some sort of enclosed world, they think of it as they, I've had people say that they felt claustrophobic because it's like, well, you've taken away the universe and you've, you've moved us from this giant, this giant expanse right. to, a one, to a one room apartment. But you got to remember in 1954, when he said was in fact, I think you were actually quoting the article that he wrote after that. So I don't know if that was after, if it was after Operation Deep Freeze, it would have made well, more sense. But yeah, he, well, he was talking. He, he said talking. about the like fighting, you know, like in terms of fighting, like you, we're going to have to be ready. We're going to have to be prepared. The world's shrinking. I remember him saying these things. Yeah, yeah it yeah. was just kind of interesting because it was kind of you heard that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't he wasn't saying that. He, he didn't say that in the interview on the Long Jeans Chronoscope. He said that in an article in an interview he did, I think, with like the New Zealand Times. 
if I'm not mistaken. And I think that was after Operation Deep Freeze. But yeah, he he understood. I think is one of the reasons he's. I think he was too willing to give up information, which is why his death in 1957 was so convenient, because the the powers that be saw he was in him. good shape and everything, right? Oh my God, he he was the guy was a, a rock. You know, he did cold weather he expeditions. And, and and he was in his well, how did he die again? Uh, heart attack supposedly in his home in up where it's always a heart attack, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, up yeah. in Boston. Well, and so, <laughs> what wow. about, what about his son? What about his son? I was reading an article just a his... little bit ago. I think his name was Adam Bird. They yeah, found he... him in some dark oh. dark gallery. Yeah, which, yeah, I yeah. Know, yeah. They just found him dead, decrepit. Yeah, what was that? Dad, he I was just dead saw that too. the other day. It's, Don't forget to mention he was dead. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, were, he was dead. I mean, he's not hanging he, around. Wait, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm getting the feeling that you guys are saying that he was dead. Is that is that what I'm I'm hearing? <laughs> the guy, the guy's dead. All right. Okay. He's dead. okay. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> his son, look, his son, his son was a loose end. I treat his son no different than I treat Bobby Kennedy. Where it's like you know Jack Jack Kennedy was was killed for a, as a, as a message to the rest of the family. It's like look, right. we've got this thing. He under went control. with him to Antarctica in forty seven. That's uh, the thing. He went with him. That doesn't surprise me. He was trying to groom him anyway. I just but read the if, article. If if he had yeah. known anything, yeah, his son would have been a loose end, and I don't believe there are any other family members besides his son. So at that point, the government would have taken, you know, n- like Tesla, he would have, they would have gone well, in and grabbed. There's him. actually yeah. Leverett. Yeah. He has a son named Leverett Bird also, who's still kicking. Like, are you sure? <laughs> that's you sure that's his son? son, like Adams. Oh, oh, grandson. No, yeah, oh, yeah, Adam. I think I all in the in the article it just said Adam Bird's body was found. And then it spoke about this man named Leverett, and I think that was his son. I don't know who Leverett really was. Yeah, the, the oh, grandson, it was in the article. It's right here, actually. I just have to. The grandson oh, that... would, would probably wouldn't have known anything, and if he would have, they would have they would have oh. taken care of him too. Here so. was his son. son Leverett? Is that his here son? was his son, Leverett Bird of Meadham, Massachusetts, was quoted in the Baltimore Sun yesterday, even a ceremony, and he just said it was very odd. That mm-hmm. like you know this happened, so it just kind of seemed very. Oh yeah, the body was just he was. Well, hell, I got to get to exactly where the quote was, but it was really it's kind of sketchy. Like this whole article. Oh yeah, I put him on a train, and my my and my wife was supposed to meet him. Leverbird said, "What wow. happened in between? I don't know. It's very strange." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, he that was sketchy. He, if, it's a if, strange world, dude. If, if 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 Richard Bird was grooming his son to do anything, he would have let him in. Again, I I believe wholeheartedly that Bird was a, for lack of a better term, and I'm not trying to be mean here, was oh, in fact, the Peanut Gallery is actually doing some research for me on this. One second, and Peanut Gallery says, That's a good topic. Hang on, hang on. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, he's got the quote from Bird. The fantastic speed at which the world is shrinking, recall the Admiral, is one of the most important lessons learned during the recent Antarctic exploration. I have to warn my compatriots that the time has ended when we were able to take refuge in our isolation and rely on the certainty that the distances, the oceans and the poles were a guarantee of safety. And they're not. Um, it was based on the country's ability to attack well, hold, worldwide. Oh my God. That's but anyway, the ch- children... Oh, he Richard, said it's a guarantee of, of safety. He said it's a guarantee. Well, it's not a guarantee. It's then. not a guarantee. Oh, it's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee oh, of safety. <laughs> okay. These yeah. children, children were Richard Evelyn Jr., Helen Bird Stabier, Catherine Agnes Bird Breyer, and Evelyn Boyle, Bowling Bird Clark. So I, I'll have to look into it. I got to look into it a little bit more. But I, hey, I'd heard do you the think story. It's a, hey, Mark, do you think it's a metaphor? For the uh, for some kind of climate change, global warming, and that's what they're just calling climate changes. But really, it's just the the uh, ice ice wall circle closing in on us. Is that possible? No, 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 no. I don't. Th- I do not think that the world is literally shrinking. Uh, it is. He. It, it's. 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 Meta- <laughs> Good to know. Thank you. Metaphor, yeah, yeah. <laughs> metaphorically, no, it's not. No, no. We're. If it was a shrinking world, I think we'd be in real trouble. The. Um, uh, I, I, oh, yeah. I do have a, I do have another call I wanted to pick up, but I wanted to mention real quick sure. something that it was literally on the tip of my tongue, and now it is gone. 
So because you guys just no, just, uh, come on, distract me. No, it wasn't that important. The what uh, is it? with with, with, oh. Richard, with Richard Bird. Oh no, I know, I know what it was. Richard Bird was a security risk, plain and simple. I, I I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you guys. Mm-hmm. Where the the man loved to do press conferences. He was good. I mean, look that 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 one that I found from the CBS affiliate where he was on the Long Jeans Chronoscope. He was so comfortable on camera that it, look if you're a a handler of the military. And you're watching him, you're going, yeah, mm-hmm. this guy would not take much coaxing at all before. <laughs> now, nobody he had VCRs or anything, like that, but all you need is a journalist to watch that show. And then it's in the newspapers and then it's there forever. So they decided, you know what? He's had a good career. He has had a good run. And he did he's exactly- had a good. He, yeah, he did a good run. He's got. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, <laughs> he did what, we, what we wanted him to do, which was we wanted him to find the outer marker. And it took him 30 years to do it, but he finally found it. And right. then it was like, oh, OK, let's not let him get too excited yeah. about this, because I would imagine if you send somebody on yeah. a 30 year mission. Are, can, so you are don't you... think he was a main insider Freemason guy? Oh, he was a Mason. Sure. But there's he, he wasn't the top dog. Of that no, 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 no. He oh, was wow. he was career military and career. He was a career explorer. That was his big thing. Was he, he prided himself on being the mm-hmm. first man to see chunks of the world. And so you were also, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm peanut gallery saying I've got to pick up another call. He but, had a medal of honor. He I, had a medal of honor. He was given a medal of honor. Well, look, right? he's, he, uh, Richard Bird he's is a, a man. He's an enigma, but at the same this time. This guy is he, one hell of a guy. He is a hell of a guy. Yeah. I agree. All right, guys. Anyway, I got to run. But How do you call get the Medal of Honor? I, mean, that's... I know. I call back when you can, uh, but I got to take some <laughs> other can't. calls. Yeah. And, and yeah. besides, you guys get to get too, can't dominate my time too much because you're actually going to see me. <laughs> and you're going to have to get get the your, to wear like appropriate, whatever they wear in Beverly Hills. You're going to have to look the part like Beverly Hills, like 90210 shirts. Oh, we'll be in full guard. Full guard. We'll be there. <laughs> Don't look like like oh what was that? Who is Britney Spears' uh, boyfriend? Uh, Federline. Yeah, don't look like him. Who's a Federline guy? Yeah, don't look that like him. That guy's a chump. No, I know. Don't look like him. All right, guys. Yeah. I will. I will talk <laughs> that, okay. All right. Yep. See you guys. All right. We're picking up six two six out of Alhambra, California. Hey, what's up, Mark? How's it going, man? Going pretty good. How's it going with you? Uh, I'm doing fine, dude. This is I know, Josh, the Uber I, driver from California, bro. I know bro. exactly who this is. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you would by now. Uh, oh, yeah. I've been planning this uh, trip on you getting out here. Yeah. Yep. The, Josh is, is partially responsible for the uh, the meetup actually having me show up. And I could be more excited because I haven't I haven't been to Los Angeles in years, so it's uh, it's gonna be fun. I feel really? bad. When was the last time you were down here? Good lord, uh, eight years ago, maybe, maybe I think, not too long, but well, a, little, a lot little. changed in those eight years. Trust me, Obama did one hell of a job. <laughs> what? It's not like a demilitarized zone or anything. I've read, I've kept up on it a little bit. No. But no, it's not it's not like a demilitarized zone or anything like that. But it's just when you've been here for a while and you see the changes, you notice them if you're yeah. paying attention. Okay. Well, you'll have to you'll have to point some out. To but, me. Huh? Hey, you know what? We have great weather, so they can all go to hell. <laughs> well, hey, that great weather is just about everywhere. Did you realize that two days ago I actually was getting sun? here up in seattle i mean it's almost october and uh it's amazing for oh, in fact i'll throw one out else out at you there was a heat wave happening over on the east coast i remember because i was watching some of the nfl games because i was curious about the whole protest thing and every one of those games was that was like record highs it was like 100 110 degrees in the field in tennessee it, it, you know, the end of September, it was uh, there was a night game. It was like 85 degrees in the field, and it was like nine o'clock at night in in Boston. It was incredible. I was good. Don't tell me there isn't wow. climate change happening here, because in fact, it was it was weird because I was watching. Uh, and you, I don't know if you remember this movie uh, with Nicolas Cage called Knowing, 
which was back a few years ago. Yeah. And it, it was about you know, the whole movie was set during an Indian summer where the, the just never got any, you know, just kept getting warmer and warmer and like fall never came or winter never, you know, fall never came. It was just anyway, it was amazing. So I have, so what, what's the temperature like down there? I know I could look it up, but I figure since you're there, tell me what's, what's it like? I, uh, dude, it feels amazing out here right now. Hold on. Let me look up what the, uh, <laughs> what well, the actual I, temperature I is. I look it up. It was it, a, it, when's the last time you got any rain? Well, it's 81. There's no rain over here, dude. California. <laughs> That's right. It's just sunshine and oranges and bikinis. That's all it is. Oh, and the well, peanut get You know what? Get, what? Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, no, there used to be rain, but not so much anymore. <laughs> I don't know where it went. So I got about two minutes till the break. What's, uh, is there anything in particular on your mind? Or are you just kind of, oh, hey, since, since I got you, um, well, I, I, I'm, are you, do you want to talk briefly about the meetup or did you have something else? Yeah, no, uh, let's talk about the meetup. I uh, got it nailed down to the yard house on October 8th. Oh, cool. Uh, the yard house is located right there in like downtown Pasadena. Perfect. Uh, right next to the Arclight movie theater, actually. Perfect. I'll I, promote it this week and I'll promote it next week. Cause we've got, you know, a little ways before I go. Uh, and what, what yeah, time you, we're actually what... uh, going to be grabbing their patio. Perfect. Perfect. What what time? Uh, looking at four o'clock. Okay, four o'clock on October eighth, which I believe is a Sunday. So that's what yeah. we're shooting for right now. I have not built a promo for this because I just heard what it's going to be like right now. So we're shooting for October eighth at four o'clock in the Yard House in Pasadena, California, and I will be attending. How's that sound? And I believe yeah, the film. I that's believe the film. The film crew is also going to be attending this. That that works. Uh, you mean Daniel? I it was a pleasure meeting him last time. Uh, yeah. It'll be great meeting him again if he shows up. Yep. I thought, in fact, that there may be more than uh, Daniel this time around. Interesting. Cool. I hope. Uh, well, then. Uh, uh oh, the music's kicking off. You know what? I should uh, I should actually double check and make sure that. Uh, they will allow filming. Huh. Well, but don't, don't. But what, hey, stay. if anyone wants to, uh, we're actually going to break to down. RSVP, RSVP at uberflatter so at gmail dot com, man. Stay, 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 stay up front, okay? All right. You are now tuned into the truth frequency. Your protection from deception. T L R. Welcome back to Strange World, part two of four. And before we bring Josh back on the line, the man who's running point on the Flat Earth Los Angeles meetup, which is going to be in Pasadena, California, October 8th at the yard. Before we bring him back in real quick, so hang tough there, Josh. I want to read real fast because I don't read. I'm not going to try not to read too many emails on the show, but I want to read a text because I don't often get flatter texts because I tell people don't text me because I won't text back. But I am going to read this one real quick. Mark, your Under the Dome documentary blew my mind wide open the past June. My life hasn't been the same since. In a good way, smiley face. Many people think I'm crazy for believing in flat earth, but that's okay. There are so many people waking up and you are one of the few pioneers to thank. You've described things so simply and clearly. Bless you for taking the time you have put together the videos you've made. God bless Jennifer from Virginia. P.S. Keep up the amazing good work. So, you know what? If you text me something like that, I am probably going to read it. 
although it's still a pain because I have a crappy little phone. Anyway, let's bring Josh back on the line, get some clarification here. Josh, are you still there in Alhambra, California? Yeah, I'm still here, man. Cool. Okay, so uh, go ahead. Well, I was going to let you know, it's actually at the yard house. Not the, it's called the, it's a, uh, it's the, yeah, it's called the yard house. I don't know. Uh, okay, <laughs> perfect. I'll, I'll look it up. I'll get the address and, and no worries. I'll put the promo together. And if they want information, even before I put the promo out, they should email who? Yeah, me at uh, uberflatearth at gmail.com. Perfect. And I usually respond pretty quickly. Uh, Excellent. I, I'm actually kind of curious as to whether or not the guy from Beverly Hills yeah. is one of the guys that emailed me about when am I actually going to have one in that's closer to LA. <laughs> well, because uh, Rancho's it, kind it, of it, on the it, border of like LA and San Bernardino. It might have been, you know, and this is, of course, this is stuff coming back to bite me because here I was giving LA a hard time. It's like, LA, where's your meetups? And all of a sudden they do meetups in three different locations and fly me in for a meetup. So, hey, you, you, <laughs> careful what you wish for. It's like, okay, New York, what do you got? You know, I should say hey, that. You know I, what? Well, go ahead. You create your own reality, bro. There you go. Good point. Uh, but yeah, the, the names of the guys out in Beverly Hills are Ross and Andy. So, I believe it was Ross and Andy. Uh, I'll actually go back and check my email. Yeah, check them out when you get a chance. All right, I, oh, will, yeah. build, I will build. I have the... a feeling that you're going to be hearing from them. Probably. I have a funny feeling they're not going away. The uh, I I will build the promo out maybe tomorrow. Uh, I've got a thing on Thursday, but maybe tomorrow I will I will try to do that. Okay. I'll come up. I'll no come problem, up man. Thank you something. so much for doing it, dude. Oh no worries at all. I'm gonna come up with some sort of California theme. I've already done a couple California ones, but I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna make a, a slightly different one, and and come up with something fun for it. And just to let everyone know when you get there to be able to find us, it should be pretty easy because we're having a banner made up that nice. says SoCal Flat Earth Meetup Group. Right on. That's exciting. And it's, yeah, it shouldn't be very hard to find us. Right. I'm hoping that it actually brings other people that are just walking by up asking what in the hell is going on. Well, your your timing couldn't be better because it's been in the news all this week so far, and it's only Tuesday. And in fact, that's what I'll cover a little bit once I get off the phone with you. Awesome! Uh, right. I look forward to hearing you, man. Uh, all right. Talk to you later. Uh, all right, man. Then yep. we'll definitely see you on the eighth, or actually uh, the seventh. Well, yeah, and well, you got to remember, we'll talk. We're going to be talking uh, on next week. Next Tuesday is the third, so yeah, we'll talk before then. No worries. Oh, yeah. No problem, man. All right, man. Talk to you later, hey. man. Bye. Good night. Talk to you later. Okay. So, you guys heard it here first. There's going to be a meetup in Los Angeles, Pasadena, California, at the Yard House, October 8th, 4 p.m. There will be a banner, and I will be attending. Me, Mark Sargent, father of Flat Earth. Yep. <laughs> Again, that's what I get for... Um, Talking about this stuff. So, anyway, let's go with the phone number again. 720-897-6111. That is 720-897-6111. Or 213-233-3998. That is 213-233-3998. And if you just want to listen to uh, listen on your phone, I'm not going to give out the UK number again. In fact, I remember the last time anyone called from the UK into this show for whatever reason. It's probably because it's three, it was eight, nine, ten, uh, like three in the morning over there, two in the morning, something like that. The uh, the phone number to call in, though, if you just want to listen, is 641-793-7117. And let's pick up uh, somewhere in Nevada. I do not know this town, so let's find out. 702 area code. 702, somewhere in Nevada, I'm guessing... Who are you? Laughlin, Nevada. Harmon Laugh Walker from Laughlin, Nevada. Hey, where is Laughlin, Nevada? It's on the Arizona-Nevada uh, border on the Colorado River. 
Oh, cool. Right on. Yeah, that's right. That's right down the Colorado River. About if you go straight line, sixty miles down from the Hoover Dam. Cool. That's pretty. It's pretty country. What uh, What can well, I do for you? Well, this is the first time I've ever um, done like this. Um, Ten days ago, I never even really paid attention to flat earth. So since I heard it, like after I listened to the boy one one video, it, oh. everything fit into place. It was just like magic. It was like just a peaceful moment. Nice. Have you have you slept? I'm not I'll keep thinking, but anyway, <laughs> let me get back to my, I, I can't believe I got emotional. No, 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 it's okay. Uh, and by the way, don't get nervous. There's only about two and a half million people listening right now. And if you screw it up, they're going to be laughing at you. So it's okay. <laughs> anyway, so I, I was looking and used in one of your videos just earlier today where it said you lost the, in January. They said they took away three million did they take away three million sites or searches? I didn't they, understand they took, that. They took, they took away three million search results from the general search. So, but lucky for us, okay, what happens if you like if you go into YouTube right now? And it's good actually you ask this question because I I've been wanting to explain this for a few weeks anyway. If you go into YouTube right now, you type in flat Earth and you just hit search. It'll in fact I can do it. Well, I don't want to do it right this second, but it'll show up like I don't know between five and seven million or something like that. But if you sort by upload date, you click on the filters button on the right hand side, and you go all the way over, and it, in the last column it says upload date, which is the the freshest and newest stuff. As of this morning, it's nineteen point two million. So those are the real numbers, meaning the the real search relevance. There, it what YouTube did was they tried to curb our enthusiasm for whatever reason. And the general search, they crunch the numbers. It's called in the in the gaming world, it's called a stat squish, where they took it from whatever it was seven seven point something million down to four, and you know literally in a twenty four hour period, which is impossible. You know, even if you start deleting right. entire right. channels, you'd never be able to to do it. In fact, yeah, right now the general search um, peanut gallery is saying is coming at five point six, five point seven. Which is about right. But yeah, if you sort by upload data, it comes in at 19.2. So they were just, again, they were trying to keep things, you know, the, the fire from burning too brightly, but they weren't trying to snuff it out entirely. The real numbers are still there, but they're under very specific search criteria, which is fine. I mean, it's not, the, the videos weren't weren't deleted. We, you know, people would right. have okay, been. Right, okay, do, do, do you think that they will try to... Um start deleting your videos and stuff eventually like they've all done other other sites no because not just it's yours it, i know i know what you're saying it's not like they can treat it they can't treat it like false flag shootings you know like, like for example i've watched entire channels get blacklisted because they are trying to you know like they say oh, orlando's fake you know or dallas or you know those that the rash of shootings that we had recently and once you did right. that, what they do is they flag it and they say not advertiser friendly. So you can still put your video out there, but you can never monetize it because that. Well, there's you, guys like I used to. I understand that. I, what I did, I had I like there's like 20 of my videos uh, site uh, places. They are just totally banned from uh, YouTube now. Like Texas Shrug, he was just a nice, normal guy in Texas talking, yeah. and they just deleted him in one day. Yeah, um, yeah. You, a new yeah, old guy it, in Arizona named Gabor Zona. He's gone in one day. Yeah, you, YouTube for whatever reason decided they were going to change the rules this year, and some of the big YouTube channels, you know, guys with a million, two million subscribers, they got really upset about it because they were they were acting like a judge and jury and executioner all in one. And it's, uh, unfortunately, that YouTube knows, especially since Google now owns them. I mean, it's it's re you're really talking about Google here. It is a, such a monstrous entity that they can do pretty much what they want. Now, going after flat Earth is such a stretch. I, you want to go after something that's anti-patriotic, you know, like saying you know America, is, you know, burn the flag type stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can I can see them doing that. But going after flat Earth is so fringe, it would actually draw more attention to it because the people would then the the flat Earth community is so enthusiastic they would just move it off to other venues, you know, move it off to Facebook. So how far? How much? Is, how much has this grown this year? Uh oh, boy, it's a good question. When I think we started this year, I think we were at. 12 I think so it's gone from like 12 to 19 which is huge but but here's here's the bigger fight don't don't look at the, the the numbers that it's grown I mean yeah it has grown immensely in the last two years remember it was under no I'm not saying just a number I'm not saying just the numbers on YouTube I'm saying how much do you think that it's gone 
this is going oh, global it's, now. It's, it's, it's huge. I mean, look at the stories that came out just today uh, or in the last 48 hours. How B.O.B. I mean, I literally am watching. I'm looking at the headline. B.O.B. is in the, on Time magazine where he's you know, because he decided to do a GoFundMe page on flat earth they could have ignored that they didn't have to put that through the associated press but it's so interesting and at the same time Kyrie Irving is saying that he's distancing himself from it because well because he's been traded to Boston and if I was his agent I would have done the same thing so yeah it's gotten huge I mean it's my if you want to have you want to know how global it's gotten you want to have some fun someday type in flat earth and then pick a language and like going to, you know, because Google has those uh, uh, live translators, type in flat earth and translate it into Chinese or translate it into French uh-huh. or Spanish. And then type, then paste that name, it, the flat earth equivalent into Google and watch what happens. Watch the videos that pop have up. You heard of, have you heard of Inar Kusk yet? Inar? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know full well. He's, that really, I, he's really doing well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he, I'm glad he's back. He took a little hiatus for a while there, but I think he's I think he's done some great stuff. In fact, uh, my co-host from um, Flatter Than Other Hopitas, Patricia, interviewed him recently, and he's he's great. I love him. Oh, is that the guy? I just uh, like on uh, I see a video right here. It's like not too long ago. It was uh, about a 44 minute interview, was it? Uh, the, he did that one out. He was interviewed. In fact, just recently, I think the 44 minute video was, he was interviewed by another gaming channel because that's how he started out. Oh, that's, that's right. The is. Yeah. That's yeah. what I love about the, the flat earth is, is people get picked up from all different walks and he, he started out as a gaming channel. He, you know, he, in our, he was a guy that pay, was paid to play games on air and endorse things. And somebody and paid, paid him a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, they forced him to watch Flat Earth videos, and he's like, fine, I'll do it. You know, it's just money. But it's not like <laughs> it's not like it's going to affect me, and it did. And like it does a lot of people. We we tell people, like, look, even if you look into this for less than an hour, you're going to get the bug. And then like you, I mean, I, I envy you. If you've only been in it 10 days, oh, man, you've got so much more content that's out there. It's going to be it's uh, so exciting, yeah. Okay, have you one pr- question I want to ask you. Go, oh, ahead, go, ahead. go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I wanted to ask you, what is what's the main reason why to keep it a secret? I've got I already because I've been studying a lot of stuff. Of, I know from the Agenda Twenty One to all that kind of stuff, right? Sure, sure, sure. Which you might I don't know I don't know how you are into that stuff. But uh, to me, keeping a secret falls right into their agenda. Keeping, you mean why the why the the powers that be would keep it a secret? You know the, the like yeah. why why hide it? Why keep it hidden? If you find out, why keep it hidden? Yeah. It's the same reason why the institution was too big at that point. Meaning you had already told people for literally 20, 25 generations not, you know, that the world was a globe. So the foundations had already been laid. It'd be the equivalent of if I'll, I'll give you a, a biblical re- version. It'd be the equivalent of if the Catholic Church all of a sudden found out that the Virgin Mary's name was Susan. Would they bother to tell people? And and we're talking about just a name here. No, they wouldn't. The there's too much, the storyline is too far along. You are not going to rewrite every book that they've ever published over the over hundreds of years. It's like you know what? What they don't know won't hurt them. It, and that's just a small thing like a name. Imagine if the well, science. Well, my reasoning. Can I? Go, I, go I can tell you what my reasoning is on it. Sure. My reasoning is, is once I've seen this flat earth thing and once the earth works like a clock i mean to me that's just so rhythmic and the yin yang part of it so yes. the yin yang is in everything truth and lies yeah. so they have to make the lie of the round earth to make yes. it to be just the opposite of a creation instead of a, a accident that we have no reason or purpose oh yeah so yeah. that's that's the yin yang they want to keep their yin i'm gonna call our yang as the positive mm-hmm. and uh the longer they can keep that in dark, the more I can see how they would want to to depopulize the earth, and they want to just have it. I can understand the greediness in the people who want to do that. So that's how I'm looking at it, why they kept it a secret, and why they don't want it out. Greed does have a huge factor in it. Uh, and and let, me, let me throw one more point. Unfortunately, the calls are stacking up a little bit. But let me throw one more point out there, which I've used a couple times, and I, but I don't think you've heard it because you've only been in it 10 days. And that is, think of the Truman Show with Jim Carrey, how when he got out to the edge, 
he took the door and left, right? But that's because the, the people that wrote that story had gave him no option. You know, he, he was a fa- an insurance salesman who realized his life was fake and the wife he was married to was, was fake and his friends that didn't exist. So he, he had nothing to go back to. Imagine if it was the mayor of that town that went out there and all of a sudden figured it out. You know, he's got a mansion, he's got limos, he's got girls or whatever. And what, does he go out that door? Because he's got a lot more to lose. Or does he go back into town and create some sort of, and let's say there was more than just him, you know, that, that, that were oblivious. Does he create a moratorium on sailboats? Does he keep people from going out? We're talking about a much, much smaller scale. Multiply that by right. people that have billions of dollars and institutions that have been around for a long, long time. They will go. They have gone to some extreme lengths to keep this thing a secret. Only now do I think they're trying to blend it all in together and seeing if they can. They know, know it and spin it the exactly. way they want. I know you got to go. I know you got to go. And the last thing I think, I think yeah. what they didn't count on is the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The That's internet. The, the monkey. Yeah, no, and not and not just the internet, high speed internet with social media. It wasn't like modems were yeah. good enough, or even when high speed internet wasn't good enough. It was that everybody had to have a device with them. Imagine this: when they decide to break a news story, I don't care what story it is, everybody in the industrialized world can have it in their hands in under fifteen minutes. Uh, you know, and that's just exactly. assuming that it takes them a while to, to you know pick up their phone. Or, you know, for, most people get it instantly. So anyway. Your first call, by thank the way. Thank you went, so much. What went, went great. Hey, call yeah, Harmon Walker. Line, okay? Harmon Walker, I will remember All right, you. thank you so much. All right, have a good day. All right, bye. Bye-bye. All right, let's pick up uh, another one before the break. Let's pick up uh, New York. New York. I'm not going to do the whole song thing with you this time. So what's, uh, what's going on, <laughs> oh, New York? Too bad. Why? You were looking hey, for it? Hey, Mark. It's Mark. It's a uh, long time caller, uh, multiple dime pain in the ass caller. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, instead of, yeah, you know, the deal. Yeah. You How know, are you, you sir? I am good. The, the cliche is, yeah, long time listener, first time caller, love the show. You know, that's, that's what everybody says. Yeah. So, I, I love the guy you just had on. He was great. Yeah, yeah he was good. He, was, days. Was just, he's, he's, he's amazing. He's amazing. Uh, I can't yeah, believe ten, it. 10 days in, he is going to be a wreck. He is. <laughs> He's be... <laughs> I like the question. Did, have you slept yet? Uh, he, he couldn't even answer. No, I don't think he has. No, no, so most I don't people, think he slept at all. He yep. like, keeps thinking. Every time a new guy gets into it, I feel bad in some ways because they have to go in and type in Flat Earth into YouTube. It's like, oh, I'll see. Let me just see what's going on. Oh, my God. What's happening in there? Because, you know, it's not like you just see videos, right? You you see videos and they're huge, right? It's like two hours, two and a half hours, yeah. 90 minutes. It's oh, my like, God. Yeah. You know, There's so much. Thousands, millions of hits. And you're going and, and then you feel like you're you're way behind the curve because you're thinking, what Ha, all these other people it's like it's like i there's a trendy thing happening and i had no idea like those stupid spinners you know it, it's only worse Fidget spinners. It's some some trend yeah. some trend that uh you know it'd be like somebody came out today it's like wait there was a pokemon what what is that you know, like they were in a cave for the entire time oh by the way quote uh, from the peanut gallery real quick a fact acquires its true and full value only through the idea which is developed from it that's from Justice von Leibig. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Mm. So what's up? Uh... I, I, I have a quote what? for you. I have a quote for you. Yeah. Tact is the art of making a point without making an enemy. And you know who said that? Which I found ironic. Isaac Newton. That is interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And I brought that up because... My friends were riding my ass today about flat Earth, and I, <laughs> I typed the. I, I just wanted to call them and be like, "You fucking asshole!" You know, I was, oh, I was so mad. Were, were they riding? To, were was, they riding you because of the uh, the headlines today? Oh no, 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 no! Just because I texted yeah. them and said I I said something, they were like, "Oh, it's Mark, so let's bust his balls!" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They were, oh, it was too funny. So I was like, I was nice. I said, you're a douchebag, LOL, so that he knew I wasn't, like, really mad. Oh, that but is nice. I was, yeah. like, 
Yeah, well, you know, I try to be polite, even yeah, if for, kick for your New York. Ass, I'll yeah, be polite yeah. about it. Yeah, douchebag. That's that's pretty low key for New York, actually. Yeah, yeah, I could say that to my mom. You know. Kill it, man. Oh my god! <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible. Oh, bad. that is too funny. Be funny. That's Thanksgiving. Yep. Yeah, Thanksgiving. You know, you guys I, are... that's yeah. You save that for Thanksgiving for holidays. <laughs> nice. Hey, uh, like he was saying about, uh, you know, that it's everywhere. It's weird because I was, I, um, I have a Twitter and I follow, you know, like the white house FEMA, you know, you got to hear what they're talking about. You know, you, you, you need to know your enemy. You need to know what they're talking about. So you, you listen to everybody. Yep. And, um, what I was, it was funny cause I was on a gaming one rockstar for, for GTA because that's the one I play all the time and I typed in Los Santos is flat that's the world of GTA and I got comments good comments like oh that's funny lol hearts I was like really so -hmm. there's other people out there for sure that are listening and paying attention to this oh yeah yeah it is it is by far in fact you know I'm gonna look this up real quick hang on I know the microphone's gonna fade for a second but I gotta look this up sure sure no problem I don't want to forget it. Because you know, and I was, well, you ahead. looked that up. I could tell you that, you know, how we're, you know, we always talk about the programming and everything is in all our information. Everything is the ball and gravity. In my yeah. EMT class, we, they were referring to gravity because of certain edemas where you, de- you know, you get fluid in your ankles and developing and, and they're equating it all to, you know, of course the, the actual heart failure, but, the fact that it's gravity that causes it to be one or the other. And I was like, Oh really? So I was just, you know, and I was fucking with him because you know me, I don't believe it at all. And I was like, well, what about when we're at high altitude? Because I thought gravity is supposed to be weaker when you're at a higher altitude and, you know, and mess with them. And, you know, it, it's just crazy because it's everywhere. Right. Yeah. So did you find it? I did. I, and what I was going to mention was as far as as far as um, oh geez, peanut gallery, uh, peanut gallery says there is no gravity. The earth sucks. Is that actually a quote, peanut gallery? <laughs> yes, from the peanut gallery. That's good. The um, That's OK, great. so what I want, I want to mention, because you don't think it's everywhere and I haven't had the chance, but you've heard me say it before that flat earth is a lot like the Spice Girls. Where and we got two minutes left of the break. I want to get this out though. <laughs> the Spice Girls, where it's okay. like you don't you don't understand how huge they were. Not only did they win Grammys, right? They won the Brit Award for outstanding contribution to the music, British music industry, right? Previous winners of that were like Elton John, The Beatles, and Queen, right? They've sold 85 right. million records worldwide, and I don't know anyone that owns it. OK, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. You bought it, you put it in that's... a drawer, and you only listen oh, to it God. when no one was around. That is what it's like, because no one wants to be caught yeah. with the Spice Girls. And I'm stealing that from Chris Rock, because no. he, he said it's kind of like heroin. You know, He compared the Spice Girls to heroin. He's like, he's like, nobody does it, but they sure sell a lot of it. <laughs> He goes, heroin's one of those yeah, things. But, but I, I, I tie to the Spice Girls. The uh, the Flat Earth is one of those things. But yeah, there's so many people that know. So many people. And the, the video, the, the one I point uh, out more than often than not, is just type in Under the Dome documentary into YouTube. That's one video. It's not even my channel. It's got, what, 3.6 million hits or something like that. And it's my clues. It's just a mirror of my clues. And that's just one of the mirrors. Yeah. So don't don't tell yeah. me there's not there's you know even if it was just one percent of the population it'd be millions. Hey, give your shout outs because we're going to break here in twenty seconds. All right. Uh, I just wanted to say hello to Candy. She tried calling while I was talking to you and okay. Wes and Nathaniel and Cece and everybody. I can't wait. It's we're so close. Oh my I know I we're six six weeks roughly. I should get, I'm going to go, I should be there like the morning of the 8th. Cool. So I'm going to be looking for people. Awesome. I'll be around. All right. Keep up the right. good work, Mark. Thanks. All right. All yeah. right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye.
Truth Frequency Radio. This is the Truth Frequency Radio Network. We are TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World Part 3 of 4. And before we pick up our next phone call, which it looks like it's going to be out of Minnesota, 612 area code, uh, some shameless plugs. And as far as Flat Earth News goes, I'll kind of save that because I, I want to do a little, little ramble about that later. But shameless plugs, uh, enclosedworld.com. Check it out if you get a chance. Go to type in Flat Earth Clues into YouTube. You'll find all the fun stuff there and you know what if you like my stuff i'm gonna see if i can remember to keep doing this every week and that is you know buy the book if you can i mean it's a it's a written transcript and it would be kind of cool because if there is some sort of apocalypse you'll actually still be able to do flat earth stuff because the flat earth clues will be in book format in your hand how about that and peanut gallery wants to remind everyone about the round table tonight i still don't have confirmation on the round table uh, yet so I might be doing, right after this, if you want to go on YouTube, I might be doing a roundtable with DITRH and IPS right after this show. So I'm going to be juggling a few things. Once I get the confirmation, I'll, I'll let you know. But go ahead and look. Look for live. All you have to do is type in Flat Earth. Click on Live Filter. And I should be there sometime within, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes after this show ends, which is an hour from now. How's that? That work okay? Okay, let's pick up Minnesota, and then I will do a quick rant on... You know what? I'm going to do a rant on the Spice Girls, and then we'll do some other stuff. So let's pick up Minnesota. 612, area code. Are you there? Yes, I am. <laughs> What's going on? Are you Are you there? Well, that are remains you, to be seen. Am I, am I talking to Memorex, or are you live? I'm at, oh no, no, tell me it's not. <laughs> yes, West Days Flat Earth News Talk, wait for it. Go uh, on. Great. There we go. You know, I'm going to keep doing that, even though it's really <laughs> annoying. You know what, I figure it this way. You have to make your mark on the world, and, you know, you got to make a big splash of that, you know, you got to drop that, uh, that, that little pebble into the vast <laughs> ocean to make the ripple. Now, now this is Wes from right, Flat Earth News, who's who's actually <laughs> using up. He's using yet again his one phone call he gets from county jail and uh, and calling smart. calling into the show. So, hey, Wes, what is what can I do for you? What's 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 happened? Oh, I was just going to comment on on a few things. Um, one, I'm sure that Mel B would be really disagreeing with you about the Spice Girls thing. But <laughs> anyway, um, that, that's another thing. Um, but the B.O.B. thing, and uh, I really do agree with Jake, I'm sure. Wes. Wes, talk to your, talk to your phone, Wes. Wes is uh, tech. There you go. Now you're back. Oh, so. I was talking on the wrong end of the damn phone. Can you imagine? <laughs> uh, you can. Wes, you are so technically challenged. It boggles the amount. Ima- honestly, I do not know how you made the call to, in, to begin with. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I was a techie in the 90s. I mean, I, I built fucking computers. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, just getting really lazy at my old age. Um, uh, apparently. Anyhow, I'm B.O.B. So and... <laughs> anyhow, B.O.B. and uh, the uh, uh, Flat Earth asshole, I yeah. do kind of agree with him. I mean, this guy is supposed to be a flat earther, but yet he believes in satellites? What the hell? Mm, some... Look, I mean, there's still some flat earthers out there that believe they don't believe in a dome. There's some that believe. I mean, yeah, not everybody. Some people hang on to different things. I how many times have I seen it where I will run into a person? They'll say, OK, the Apollo program was a piece of crap, but the ISS is 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 OK. OK, the ISS isn't ISS isn't legit, but satellites don't take satellites away from me. And and but right. but at the same time, I still think there's something flying around up there. I just don't think it's it oh, was yeah, launched. They're on balloons. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't launched by a rocket. Yeah, right. I agree yeah. with you on that one. Well, that's all right. I know, but Bob Bob's yeah. got some. I the my problem with Bob is he keeps waiting for these little moments where other people get involved. You know, where all of a sudden it becomes hot and he just jumps on it where the last time he did this was when Shaquille O'Neal came out. And he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm going to interview you. People can interview me about Flat Earth. And then all of a sudden, a couple more sports celebrities start talking about it, and he's back in it again. So, but at the same time, look, I'll take the publicity. It, it, I mean, he was, he was on Time Magazine this afternoon. So, and the BBC. Right. So I'll take it. If that makes, yeah. I mean, you're, you're just adding fuel to the fire. Yeah, you grab whatever you can. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. So I'm not yeah, going to complain. Had, uh... I'm sorry. I mean, I couldn't make the, the Time Magazine right now. Probably not. Yeah. But he could. So I hey, if he you can, got, you got you got you got a crew. You got a film crew following you around. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer, but we're not there yet. I'm I'm hoping that uh, you know if if the uh, if the documentary or whatever how whatever they turn it into, if it goes somewhere, then hey, great, fantastic, great, great for the community. Again, when they turn this into a reality show, you do need to drop my name on. I'm all down for it. If it's got a steady <laughs> yeah. paycheck for a, for a while, I'm there. <laughs> Wes, I think you would be an addition to any reality show. There you go, because I have no reality. I got oh, that. I I could see you. I I I envision several things, but I don't want to discuss it on air. <laughs> I'm keep it a trade secret. <laughs> okay. Anyway, fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Anything else? Yeah, quick quick shout out to all my flatter friends. And by the way, Zulu one. Sorry about Sunday. I, we, him and I were going to do a show around 6 o'clock in the evening, and uh, we ended up talking during the day while he was supposed to be working on his snowblower for the winter, and we ended up talking for two hours. After I got done off the phone, I fell right to sleep, didn't wake up till 9. So I apologize for that, Zulu, and I will next weekend. I'll do two shows, damn it. All right. All right. And before I let you go, uh, Peanut Gallery has sent you a quote. The quote of says, course. when you're in jail, a good friend will be trying to bail you out. A best friend will be in the cell next to you saying, damn, that was fun. And the person that said ah. that, Groucho Marx. No fooling. Yeah. Wow. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get that from March Groucho. Yeah. Not I like the ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Um, <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was pretty. Uh, yeah. uh, here's a quote for him, real quick. Uh, um, let's see. What, 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 oh, I had it on the tip of my tongue. Hang on. Um, oh. Oh, oh don't, man. Don't freeze, man, woman. What? <laughs> what? What you know. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I, I totally blew it. I can't even remember it now. <laughs> You gotta get you gotta get and, used to this. Yeah, it Did had something. Still? It had some. It had something to do with uh, um, uh, ignorance, uh, kind of <laughs> like ignorance is blitz. Oh, what you know? Oh no, that that was it. Yeah, I forgot it. 
Damn it. I'll, I'll do it That's next right. week. That's all right. If you want, type it to me, and I'll read it later, okay? You know, I have this all scripted. You know, I script all my stuff when I call you, so. And I, as do I. You know, I've got an entire agency team that sends me all these pages, and they get mad at me when I go off them, like I'm doing right now. So, hey, i got to pick up another call, man. All right, man. Take care. <laughs> have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Let's pick up uh, New York. Another. I think this is not uh, – maybe the Tri-Cities area. Maybe. I don't know. It's 914 area code. New York, although it's not Manhattan, I'm guessing. New York. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah, it's uh, Chris in uh, uh, Westchester County. Westchester County. Hi, Mark. Is, How are you? Why, why, I, I'm good. It's why the abbreviation is screwing me up, because it's W-S-C-H-S-T-Z, and then <laughs> N-0-8. It's like, what? It's like, all right. That's you know, we, I, I go through this all the time when I call, and I'll tell you, it's the most indoctrinated area in all of the entire country in the U.S. I can tell you that right now. Uh, oh, sorry. Not a lot of flat earthers in Westchester County? Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. No, there's, there's nobody here. Um, there, you know, there's, there's actually a Zulu one uh, who I've spoken to, and he's a really nice guy. And uh, I'll do a live show with him anytime he wants. No problem. Cool. However, I, I would like to put something together here in Westchester County. And I have one guy, you know, one person who contacted me through my email. Yeah. And that was pretty much it. Um, well, I, so have, I, have, I, have, I want to have, have I done a promo for Westchester yet? Do you want, I mean, are uh, you, I don't, no, I don't think so. Well, tell you what, why, why don't you think about pick a restaurant somewhere in Westchester? It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could be a thank God it's Friday or something like that. And um, yeah, oh, they, I know they call it TGIF, but uh, send me the details and why don't you just put something together and see how many people show up? I'll I'll put it put it on my channel and you never know. I mean, so far most. Yeah, no, of the, no, no. I mean, I checked the. I checked the Marriott in, in Tarrytown, and I mean, they, they they wouldn't give me a room for less than 50 people. And I was like, oh, no, 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 what are you saying? No, 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 you don't need anything we're, special like we're, that. We're trying small, yeah. I mean, yeah. you. I mean, we've. I've seen people do it. I mean, look, the the ones in Phoenix, they were doing it at a food court at a mall. You don't have to book a room mm-hmm. or anything. You just show up at a sports bar and say, hey, we're going to meet in the back room. And, you know, where darts and pool tables or wherever it is, you know, it's generally the, the quieter, the better, because the flat earth community tends to be a little loud because everyone just gets so excited. But again, start small. Hey, look, look at the if you get a chance, look at some of the promos I've run for other cities. There's, everything's really, really modest. Yeah, no, I've seen them. I've seen them. Yeah, yeah no, I know. I, I have seen them. And uh, I mean, that's how it begins. You know, you, you start small and then, you know, then you go to the Marriott. Then you go, <laughs> you know. Right. Then you go to those big places. Right. And, uh, okay, but, uh, you know, but that's not really where I wanted to. All right, where do you want to go? I mean, you know, there's a lot of people. Okay, all right. I, I, want, I want to go to the Dome. Okay. Uh, I want to go to Gravity. I want to, you know, there's just so many things. And you've got 45 minutes and your show is close. So I got like three <laughs> minutes here. All right. Um, what do you, what, what do you uh, want to talk about? Just, all right. So what do you think about the Dome? I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of a believer in it, you know? I mean, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm steering myself in that direction where, I mean, how else could all this atmosphere stay inside there's your, there's, uh, and not be blown off? Of I absolutely 100% believe in the Dome, not just because of the biblical reference and not because the majority of the community believes in a Dome. Yes, there are some people out there that believe mm-hmm. in an infant plane where there is no Dome. But what I try to tell them is what you just yeah, said, yeah. which is, look, if you don't believe in a dome or some sort of structure at the top of the thing, you're going to run into the same problem that the globe has, which is wh- what happens to the atmosphere when it bleeds off into the vacuum of space? Where is that buffer zone? Yeah, because exactly. Because you're exactly. going to have to solve yeah, exactly. it. The, which is why my website is literally called enclosedworld.com, because it's a pressurized system. It's no different than a sports stadium. You know, only hermetically sealed, where the atmosphere is is in here. That's why they call it atmospheric pressure. You know, it's it's not like it's being pulled down by gravity, yeah. and that's the only thing that's holding it down. I think that it's being held down artificially and contained inside a dome. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that, that takes care of the answer, I mean, the question for gravity. You know, I mean, that, we're talking air pressure here. And, I mean, you know, you just go into a pool and go 12 feet down, you've got a headache going on, you yeah. know, and that's just water. Could you imagine that, you know, 30, 50, 75 miles up with oh, yeah. the air pressure coming down? I mean, that's, yeah, there, there yeah. it is. That's yeah. all. Yeah. And again, with gravity, I still believe because I, I cut my teeth in the simulation world that there is a sort of molecular magnetism out there that is similar to what mainstream science says is gravity. You know, it's, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's explanation is as good as any. He goes, we can't tell you what gravity is. We can only tell you what it does. We can only give you the symptoms of gravity. <laughs> yeah. And when we're designing it in yeah, simulations, right. we're just treating it literally like a molecular magnet, with the, a magnet that can pull anything. And we just say, okay, this 100-pound you know, thing is going to weigh 100 pounds. This object and this density is going to weigh that sort of thing. Now, if some people want to attribute this to buoyancy, that's fine. I, that's fine. I know that we have to build a physics engine in the stuff that we build now. So I'm going to lean towards the stuff that I, you know, part of my career was based off of. So, but again, for people that, that go down the buoyancy path, hey, it's fine. You know, if that works too. Again, I'm not going to no, lose any sleep over it. <laughs> Same thing with the dome, by the way. If if all of a sudden somebody, if it was discovered that there was no dome at all, you know, whether it's electromagnetic or molten glass or whatever you want to say, you yeah. know, harmonics, if there wasn't one, I am Shielding not, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to, you won't find me curled up in a fetal position drinking a bottle of scotch. It, it's not, I'm literally not going to lose <laughs> no, sleep no. over so anyway, what else, what else you got? No, I mean, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, you know, I agree with you a hundred percent on that too. Um, you know, and, and not only that, with all these hurricanes that are coming up the East coast, you know, very unusual. Uh, I mean, you've got a lot of, I mean, you know, don't even get me started with the chemtrails here, you know, and they're all over the country. Um, right. and, and you're, you know, where you're from, where I'm from. I mean, it's just constantly day by day by day. And they'll take some breaks in between, uh, and I mean, you know, today I, I, you know, made a video and I was just, just a mess up there. I mean, a total massacre, you know, and I don't, I don't really know what they're doing, what their intentions of this are, because I mean, it's constantly during the night time and also during the daytime too, which I've now noticed. You can't see them as much here in New York during the uh, nighttime because we're just completely, um, you know, with the, uh, uh, uh the light yep. pollution. Yeah, oh, chem, you can't see anything. Chemtrails are one of the best kept secrets in the game. I mean, it is nobody's got. I mean, I have it is one of the few conspiracies where there is literally no consensus. No, in fact, I can't even find a trend where people are saying everyone's got a no. whole bunch of but whatever's, I mean, it's real, of course. You know, it's it's something's happening up there, and whatever it is is not short term. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not like people are just dropping like flies in fields or anything like that. But it is no, no, not at all, not at all. But so is it? But it is it. Is it killing multiple birds with one stone? Is it? Is it partially genetic? Is it partial um, obscuring of the sky? Is it pa partial electromagnetic con conductivity? Who knows exactly? But it's interesting. I I I wish somebody. The, in fact, we've never even come close to a whistleblower in that department because you know, they got to hook them up to things. So whoever, you know, whoever <laughs> the military yeah. guys have been really, really good about keeping this thing in our wraps. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, they, they really have. And there's, there's very little about that information at all. And uh, but we see it. It's there. It's up there. I mean, you see these planes pass and these clouds just morph into the, uh, I mean, these, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the chemtrails just morph into these clouds that are just unbelievably large and, and they cover the entire sky and nobody sees this. So they're just, you know, right. don't, don't get me started. Right. But any, you know, um, I mean, that's one thing I want to cover too. Oh no worries. Any uh, any closing remarks? Unfortunately, I've I've still a little backed up with calls. And oh look, there's Beverly Hills, California again. That's fantastic. I love seeing that. Oh, okay. on the board. All right, all right. Any any okay. any, any no shout outs? You know what? Yeah, uh, a shout out Zulu one. Always, you know what? Contact. I'll speak to you soon. Um, and uh, yeah, anybody from Westchester County in that vicinity, you know, Rockland County, whatever, uh, C A C O N N E L L A O L. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, C A C O N N E L L 101 at AOL.com. And just, just give me an email, shoot me out, and tell me if you're interested in, uh, you know, showing up. That's it. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Sounds good. And again, if you want to, if you think about committing to the, the promo, let me know and I'll take care of it. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, I appreciate that, Mark. I will let you know about that. Definitely, definitely. Right. And uh, 
Thank you for taking my call. No worries at all. You have a good night. You too. Bye bye. Okay, let's pick up. Uh, pick up this. Uh, who am I talking to exactly? Hi, buddy. Oh my lord. Tell me, tell me you haven't been drinking. I missed your voice. <laughs> this is candy, no doubt. I am not, no doubt, but I am candy. I haven't talked to you in a while. Well, th- there is a reason for that. That is because I. <sighs> and is, was that your car? Oh, beeping? I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot my key was in there. I thought you were going to say something mean. <laughs> no, no. I would never say anything mean about you as far as you know. What's oh, up? so you don't I, lie I, either, huh? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. What's, um, what, what have you been doing this evening? It's, it's a little late on the East Coast, or hopefully you're staying out of trouble. I'm actually, I'm on my way. I'm, on, I'm about to be at Karen B's house. Oh, cool. Uh, Say hi to Karen. Yeah, for um, but some, something, you know, it's so funny because this happens, I mean, not like all the time, but it has happened more than 10 times. People, for some reason, come to me and say, how's Mark Sargent doing? And like, uh, I don't know. I mean, we're not married yet. Maybe when we become married, I will keep up with what he does and how he is daily. Why would you think that I have the answers to these questions all the time? I but. So this funny thing happened today. You remember when we were on that? Um, I, I think I can't remember who hang it out it was, but there was a man that came on, and he was the only word that you heard him say was the f bomb. Remember? And he didn't know who you were. Uh, I will say yes. <laughs> you're you're horrible. <laughs> okay. So anyway. Uh, his wife texted me today and she, a lot of times she does like the, I tried to um, play it well so you could hear it because it's funny, but uh, before you pick this up, it, it won't work well on the call. So I'll tell you, she was like, um, so Candy, how's Mark Sargent doing? I bet he just loves you to death, doesn't he? I hope he's doing well. Just tell him I said hello, okay? And I was like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I was about to say, cause I, we, we you have might, not, I mean, I will. <laughs> yeah, we haven't met yet. And every time you do this to me, I get a little more nervous about the conference where we will meet. Just so you know. Every time I do this, what exactly did I do? <laughs> well, okay. One, have you been drinking at all? I would say yes. No, 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 no. I, and I see. No, no, I, no, no, no. I, I'm driving. I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, because that stops people. <laughs> and no, nobody well, ever does me. All right. The, so you're just, I, dr- you're just... I drank and drove one time, and I got pulled over, and I didn't get a DUI, and I promised that cop I would never drink and drive again, and I kept that promise. All right. So you're just naturally and that was bubble, in bubbly two... right now. Yeah. I haven't, no, no, I haven't you, talked you, to anybody in a while. I mean, you say things like, I've been we're, depressed. we're not married yet. You know that that worries me. I think it was a that, joke. So. That next thing, I, you know, I get something in my drink, and I wake up in a chapel, and you're sitting next to me in a cheap white dress. Yeah. Well, at least it'll be on your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> See? See what I mean? You've already given me. Some... I'm just, I'm just kidding. Anyone at the conference, please. <sighs> Help me out here, right? I need, <laughs> I don't need protection from the trolls. I need protection from people like, <laughs> and, and, and peanut gallery says, why okay. a cheap white dress? It's like, because it, she's not going to blow a whole ton of money on, on a shotgun wedding to me. So. Well, it's your money, so I'll blow any, um, as much as I want, really. <laughs> I just yeah, told you I was going to use your credit card. Where are you going to find a really expensive wedding dress at 3 in the morning? So. Well, you know. Um, anyway, hey, we're going to break in a little bit, and then I'm going to pick up, uh, after break, I will pick up Twin Cities, and yes, I will pick up Beverly Hills. I know they're not going away anytime soon. What's, uh, what, anything on your mind other than kind of rambling in general? One of these days, I'm going to call with something smart to say, and you're going to be like, was that candy? Really? <laughs> Somebody come talk. 
And peanut gallery got my, no. my seduction already planned out, pretty much. That's what he's saying. Y'all are so silly. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, that's why it's I just like, I, I kind of, I've been calling every Tuesday for so, like a, over a year now. It's like, sometimes, it's like, it's like Flat Earth has kind of hit a wall, you know? It's like, once you've gotten all the information that is out there, it's like, well, there's no questions to really ask. I mean, I could ask you, hey, um, what do you think about the Southern Star Trails? Well, you're asking me that. <laughs> Or just asking well, you sure. the general question. No, no, no. See, I'll be... No, no. I, I, no. I agree. I mean, everyone. Everyone goes to the same enthusiasm path, which is you know, they get real pumped up. They watch a whole bunch of videos. They lose a ton of sleep, and then they want the world to change tomorrow. And when it doesn't, it's like, oh crap. Or they keep watching more and more videos, and they think they've seen it all. And then something. What well, I've been the reason why I keep doing it is one, I love watching new people get into it, and two, I love watching the stories. Uh, all the like the Bob thing. Yeah. Just, see, I heard. I heard. Oh. Uh, you, I heard way, somebody yeah, talking. Um, Thirty seconds. Your story. You might as well just start giving shout outs now because I know you're not going to finish that story. Your stories are never. Um. Short. Well, Here's a here's a story. Go to H E double hockey stick. <laughs> yeah. I, I love this. y'all. This is not a G rated show, and so the fact that you would not say uh-huh. hell I mean, Mark was saying douchebag a little while ago. Oh hey, look, there's the music. Yeah. Well that's yep. Mark, uh, not me. I would catch, never do that. Catch you later. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Real people, real radio. Initiating the truth frequency. This is Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World Part 4 of 4, and yes, that was Joe Jackson stepping out from his album Night and Day, and the peanut gallery asked me to sing that like the Spice Girls. I don't even know if that's possible, because the only Spice Girls song I know is uh, where Tell Me What You Want, What You Really, Really Want, so I don't, I don't know how I'd convert a Joe Jackson song to that. But since we were talking about Spice Girls earlier, I want to mention this. I want to uh, just read this little section from Wiki here, which is uh, they sold, as I mentioned, 85 million records worldwide, achieving certified sales of 13 million albums in Europe, 14 in the United States, and two and a half in Canada. The group achieved the highest debut for a UK group on the Billboard Hot 100 at number five with Say You'll Be There. They are also the first British band since the Rolling Stones in 1975 to have two top 10 albums in the U.S. Billboard 200 at the same time. Those albums are Spice and Spice World. In addition to this, the Spice Girls also achieved the highest ever annual earnings by an all-female group in 1998. And in 1999, they were ranked sixth in the Forbes inaugural Celebrity 100 Power Ranking. I mean, it just, the accolades go on and on and on. The point is, they sold millions and millions and millions of copies. 85 million records worldwide, right? Most of them were off two albums, Spice and Spice World. And I dare you, go in, you know, when you're driving your car, I know no one that does anymore, just turn on the radio, hit scan, and tell me how long it takes before you run into a Spice Girl song. I have driven for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and never have I heard a Spice Girl song. It's like we're almost embarrassed that we created them. That is kind of the pheno- phenomena that happens with Flat Earth, which is you, you're so worried about people coming at you and calling you crazy 
that you just won't bring it up, but you secretly love it. The people that are in Flat Earth, you know, even the, the ones that are in the closet, which are most of them, 90% at least, are in the closet, they secretly love Flat Earth. And that's, that's what just gives me a charge every, every time. I'm going to keep this page up. Okay, that being said, let's pick up... Uh, let's pick up Twin Cities. Okay, I'm, we're, here's what we're going to do, because uh, I know we're running out of time. We're going to pick up uh, Minnesota, then we're going to pick up Beverly Hills, then we're going to pick up, I think, Oakland, I think, and then we'll, we'll see what happens after that. So let's pick up 612 area code. 612, are you there? Because you're on Strange World right now. Hey. Hey. hey Mark. Sorry, Mark sorry you had Minnesota. to wait. Hey. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry you had to wait so long. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> We're supposed to be your callers. <laughs> well, uh, you're now maybe, one of them. At least. But, um, yeah, uh, you know, what's funny is every time I, well, I've only called in a few times and I've only really listened to you live probably about only five times. Usually I just do it on uh, YouTube or whatever. But, um, you know, Wes is always there, West of Minnesota. And uh, Mark in New York, those, those two are as constant as calling into uh, your show I and mean, uh, well, West, West, West does it because he knows that I just cringe every time he calls it was one of those things every time it's like I, I, I'm basically it's like oh man so now he waits for it he waits for me and it's not I'm not faking my displeasure when, when he calls in it's like oh god Wes why <laughs> why do you insist on calling into the show so I've done hangouts with him, and I wasn't making this yeah. up either. Where he is, his his audio work is is bad only to second. It's it's only ter- the only his level of terribleness is only second to his video production work. He is he turns hangouts into a poor man's Blair Witch Project, and I'm not kidding you when I say this. I mean to wear motion sickness the whole nine yards. It is amazing he, what he can do or not do with a cell phone and a laptop. So anyway, <laughs> but he's dedicated. He got to like it. He is dedicated. Uh, I will say. It. So but, yeah, uh, Wes. Wes, yeah. I love you, and yet I don't. No doubt. So what? Uh, what's hey, one thing I was going to say? One of the or oh, a couple things, but um, you know, for the listeners out there that are trying to think of where they could meet up, you know, one place is a good place to be. Some of these community rooms that. Uh, these grocery stores you can reserve these things for free, you know, and use the yeah. room for, you know, 20 people in there, something like that. It's a good, uh, it's a good spot, but I need to get one going in Minneapolis, but, um, Hey, you know what? I, so I don't know, a couple in the last couple of weeks of, of, uh, tried to share as level headed as I can, you know, some of my thoughts on, on, uh, flat earth or whatever, but it, it inevitably turns into an emotional deal, you know, it's just no, there's, there's just no getting around that, but, you know, you, it always, it's always, uh, you know, the killer is always outer space, you know, and um, yeah. it's like, it's amazing. You know, everyone wants to defend a place they've never been, but a couple of yeah. thought experiments. So I was, you know, you were talking about I, the ISS earlier, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, so think through what they're asking you to, to believe there that you can actually see an object moving 17,000 miles an hour, yeah. you know, 10 times ballistics. And also it's going 15 times faster than geosynchronous orbit. So yeah. I mean, how in the, how does that thing even stay in supposed orbit? I mean, it would, it would fly out. I mean, if, if your definition of how these things are, these satellites or whatever are supposedly orbiting, I mean, they're, supposed to be kind of missing there, you know, falling around, missing the earth. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, if you're going 15 times that speed, I mean, you just fly out in a deep space. And then the, uh, the other one, the other one, the other thought experiment I was going through was, you know, let's just say we, you just believe in the heliocentric model, not, not big bang necessarily. So you think you're going 60, you know, by default, you have to be going 67,000 miles an hour or, you know, whatever that approximate speed is. I mean, any of these, any contact with, you know, people are talking about these meteorites, this and that. I mean, it's like, could you imagine it? Just the Earth's speed alone coming into contact with something out there. Oh, yeah. I mean, every single thing coming in would just be at freaking, you know, just at, I mean, catastrophic speeds. I mean, I don't know, you know, just the more you look at the globe, 
the, the heliocentric model. I mean, just the more ludicrous the whole thing really is. You know, yep. But, but yep. Um, I don't know. There's some of the I, I've been out. I've been out quite a bit on ODD's uh, live channel. You know. I'm a, sure. I'm a moderator out there these days. It's pretty fun. My my call sign is Level Playing Field. Oh, cool. So I'm out there. Uh, you know. Yeah, I'm out there just about every day trying to. You know, I had my two cents out there, but what's been going on with you? What uh, have you gained any uh, fame and notoriety out in the the real world yet, or what's going uh, on? Oh yeah, your interviews yeah, and stuff little little bit here and there. We're still waiting. You know, for me, the the big critical mass moment is going to be the the conference coming up in Raleigh, and then whatever the documentary team decides to do with their stuff, which they're going to finish up in Raleigh, but. I'm also going to do the, yeah. if you're if you at the beginning of the show, I'm going to go down to LA and do a meetup down there in Pasadena a week from Saturday. And then just, yeah, we're just kind of holding our breath, waiting for, I mean, the mainstream stuff is out there, but nobody in the, in the, the mainstream world, like B.O.B., you know, he's back in the news now talking about this. Everybody's covering B.O.B. because he's doing a GoFundMe campaign to, to do the Flat Earth, but he's not endorsing anybody. That's the part that I'm kind of interested in, which is he he's not he's not mentioning anybody by name. Why, why not? It's like, look, why don't shift some of the, the info off to like check out this guy's YouTube channel or check out the community or go here. And nobody's done that yet. Everyone says, oh, yeah, I believe or I sort of believe or whatever it is. But they rarely quote sources, which I think is fascinating. It's like they're I'm, that's that's what I'm waiting for next. So, and I don't, it doesn't have to be me. I don't, I don't care as long as the community benefits from it. That's, that's all I'm really in it for. No. Yeah. So. Anyway. Yeah. It's, um, uh, uh, yeah, but, um, uh, I don't know. Oh, the other thing I was, you guys were talking to a gentleman from uh, New York that called in, <clears throat> was talking about, you know, he brought up chemtrails again real quick, but you yeah. know, the one thing people, I don't know if people are in denial about that stuff, but I mean, just look at these, these, these commercial airliners, I mean, we, all of us see them every day, all the time, if we live in a big city type of thing. And I mean, I mean, there are no trails. Behind these, I mean, we know for sure these are jet engines up there. And I mean, there are no trails behind any of these airplanes. So anyone that says, well, those are those chemtrails are most likely just contrails or whatever. It's like, uh, well, we're watching these, these airliners on a freaking minute by minute basis. And there's never a trail ever behind one of those airplanes. Oh. I mean, we can know definitively that something is being, you know, there's something that's being, uh, you know, oh, sure. what the right word is, but immersed in the air, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's without a doubt. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they're up to. But, uh, yeah. hey, what's your thought? You know, you're talking too about Spice Girls and whatever. And the fact <laughs> I was trying to figure out what your point was going to be. I didn't realize it was that, yeah, you never do hear any of them no. for as popular no. as they no, were. It's, yeah, it's one of the world, what's your thoughts most... on, like, some, some of these? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, no. I was just going to ask your thoughts on, I wonder if some of these lyrics, you know, whoever these supposed producers of these lyrics are, I was yeah. wondering if some of that stuff is coming, getting handed down from. Uh, oh, coming from, down from on high? Oh, yeah, you bet it is. Producers, yeah, are, yeah, anybody, yeah, right? any producer, as long as it's money, you can pay for. If you have money, you can be a producer in just about any film you want, as long as your changes are small enough and the director doesn't care. You can do just about anything you want. Now, of course, when it comes to singers, some of them are very, very touchy about their lyrics, but some of them, like anything, can be bought. So, why not? I mean, with the Spice Girls. <laughs> Lord knows their songs weren't exactly meaningful, so why, why not insert just about any subliminal thing you want in there? So yeah. Anyway, um, I got only I can only I only got you by like another minute. So what else? No, good. That was it. Really? Yeah. 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 What happened to him? I did. I didn't. Honestly, I did not transport him into another dimension or anything. He's gone. And in fact, he hung up. I don't know. I'm sorry. By the way, he's still listening. I honestly didn't cut him off. I just said, "Hey, we only got another minute." And then all of a sudden, <laughs> and then you know, 
he was teleported somewhere. All right, Beverly Hills, we're going to pick you up because why not, right? Here we go. Beverly Hills, you've been hanging on, and after that, we're going to try to pick up Oakland before we shut this thing down. What's up? Uh, hey, Mark. Yeah. Hey, is Mark, this, we is got, this... Dude, we got some direct evidence that uh, that Leverett Bird, uh, the grandson of, you know, the Indiana Jones guy, uh, yeah. Richard Bird yeah. Jr., you know, the, 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 the explorer is Jr., okay? Okay. The explorer is Richard Bird Jr., and his son that he took with him that we were talking about earlier is Richard Bird the third. And then his son Leverett is actually alive in Needham, Massachusetts right now. Really? And it's hard to believe that yeah, it's, it's yeah. we got it we got his phone number, dude. You can just get his phone number right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. How did you get his phone well, number? I tell you we're gonna give this guy a call. <laughs> well, be careful. We might have to do a big four way right now with you on the phone. We're thinking oh, about no, it. No, <laughs> One, it's almost midnight at the East Coast, guys. Yeah, you remember, you're in California. We're, just, we're, ki- we're kidding. We're, we're kidding. All right. No, but we really do have his number, though. I'm not kidding about that. Yeah, you should see if he... And, and uh... the funny thing is... Go ahead. Yeah. Let me tell you something. The funny thing is that it, it says no mention of, of any leveret bird on Wikipedia. Um, first of all, there's no mention of any leveret bird, you know, and... Uh, and also, there's there's another page on a genie.com that has a leveret bird deceased, huh. which is really weird. And this article from the New York Times from 1988 that my friend Ross found is really yeah. unbelievable. It really is. And it, it seems like a total disinformation jumble article. Um, it's pretty interesting. It's really, really? amazing. And like, it's just, did you, hey, Mark, did you think that there was no continuation of, a, of the lineage after Richard Bird III? I had not, I had not yeah. heard of any uh, relevant lineage from Bird. Right, right, right. Well, well, we have. So I guess it's in New York Post and and other sources. We've have you heard of anyone trying to look look him up or contact him before? No. Have you ever heard of anyone looking up? Nope. Because nope. he he could he could hold some pretty some pretty serious information, you know. Well, maybe, maybe. I mean, get a member when you're. <laughs> yes, yeah. You know, when you're talking about the when you're talking about no. the grandsons, sometimes they do, and a lot of times they don't. Uh, the son is one thing, but the grandson, mm-hmm. you know, especially especially if if Richard didn't know him very well, if at all. No, he wait. Richard didn't know him. What do you mean? Well, no, I mean if Richard was sixteen. Oh yeah, yeah. When he died, his son would have been. No, but the guy who's alive. The thing is, the guy who's alive, right? The guy who's alive who lives in Needham, Massachusetts, who who was born in 1952, uh, Leverett Leverett Salston Bird. Yeah. Uh, his dad is the one who went with, who went with the Indiana Jones figure guy, whatever, right? That's how I refer to him because it's so confusing with all the names. The, That's how the Admiral. The Admiral. Let's just call him the Admiral. Yeah, I think it'll. Okay. Okay, so whatever. But the guy who's alive right now, it was his dad went with him, so he maybe you know. And in the article, he's already like like 30 years old by the time his dad was found dead. And there's this whole thing of how he sent his, uh, you know, the grandson Leverett sent his wife to meet, to meet uh, Richard Bird the, the third. And like, that's when I found him. I don't know. It's just really, right, right, right. it seems like there's some big cover up. Now. It's just very yeah, strange. Maybe. So, would, would not surprise me. Cool. Interesting. Well, oh, well you always well, sound like, you know, more than you're letting out. <laughs> you know, no, not Mark, at all. you always do. Mark. I got a quick question for you since we can't go much deeper down that rabbit hole. But okay. uh, everyone, you know, you're always asking what our questions are. I wonder what your questions are. What are some of your thoughts? What are you thinking in terms of, oh, that's the most awesome? Or, like, where are you leading into at this point in your discoveries of all this stuff? I'm more looking at the uh, – thank you for asking that, by the way. I am more looking at the – tipping point for mainstream for me i enjoy watching because there's so many different facets of mainstream with social media and you know not but what's been missing has been the lowest common denominator which is the main uh television networks they have no nobody from the national news abc nbc cbs fox and cnn has on television has run a major flat earth story yet it's like they're being held back. 
And that's so those are the questions I'm kind right. of I'm focusing on right now, because until that happens, you can say what you want. The television is being replaced, but it hasn't been replaced yet. Yeah, of yeah. course, YouTube has a whole. No, huge no, they have, chunk. still have full faith in it. Everyone still has full faith in it, really. It's people insane. people say, yeah, it's people totally don't. Insane. Some people say, well, you don't watch TV. Yeah, it's not exactly true. There's still a lot of televisions out there. And <laughs> they're watching TV. They're, they're whether, watching whether TV. Whether they know it or not, they're influenced by mainstream media, whether they even know it or not. They're right. not even conscious of it. Like so that, that's, uh, that's that, But the thing is, Mark, I don't think there can be a tipping point. I don't even think there can be a tipping point for that. I think it's literally just black and white, you know what I mean, when it gets to that level, in a way, you know? I mean, it, it, I'm, I'm not sure even sure there can be a tipping point. Sooner or later, it's too big to be a, you know. Well, th that's just it. Sooner or later, you've got to come up with a giant distraction. That's kind of my my focus, which is, okay, what is? How are you going to spin yeah. this? Are you going to spin this with another event to try to distract mm -hmm. from it, or mm -hmm. are you going to uh, kind of fold the whole thing in to a big event, like a celestial event, mm -hmm. uh, or you or are you going to turn it dark? Are you going to like blow up something? You know, a major nuclear event. Uh, sure, and, some kind of wild something, yeah. Yeah, false something, flag or something. Yeah, some some massive yeah. false flag. You could go one or the other way. I'm yeah. just, mm -hmm. I when I look at the the mainstream media, I'm just trying to think. It's like, okay, where where you know you're looking at the chess player at the other side. Where are you going with this? Because I'm not I'm not seeing yeah. the the strategy quite yet. I'm working on it, but it's not right. We're right. all there. So so you're and, just looking at the mainstream kind of angle. You're not necessarily having any like. And so here's, I know we about the no, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm really focused on because I do so many interviews and so many other little things I want and it, they're all unsolicited so I don't I ever have to contact anybody in fact I'm doing an Australian one on right. Thursday so where sure, you know sure. where are they coming from where where are they going like when I was watching the mm -hmm. BOB thing today or the Kyrie Irving now, I get the whole Kyrie Irving thing because his manager or his agent says that, look, you're going into Boston and you've got, you know, you're brand new city. You've got to start off as normal. If you do not start off as normal and you have a couple bad games in the beginning, yeah. they're, going start, they're going to start looking at you. Now, if you want to start off high that makes sense. and then, then start turning flat earth, you better have the fans on your side, which is why he's doing that. Right, I mean, right, right. Like, Boston is like the intellectual fake hub of intellectualism. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, MIT is right there. So the whole don't. Thing is all BS. Yeah. <laughs> MIT. <laughs> oh, oh, like, you oh, you yeah. know, I have one more quick question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Really go quick. Ahead. Andy, had uh, Andy had told me that, um, uh, what was his name? Uh, the other guy who's really big, uh, what's his name? The, um, come on, Andy. What? <laughs> Andy, what's his name? Copernicus? Who, no, no, the other know. big, the other big flat earther right now. Oh, Eric Dubé. Yeah. Yeah, Eric Dubé. You know, Eric, Eric Dubé is what he he's calling you a shill or something. I I don't know. Well, That's what I was. Been, I don't know. He's I been Andy. He's calling me a shill since month one, which is he doesn't look. How he, did that start? The, Do you even know? Yeah, I know exactly. He's not going to show up because you're there. What's the? I don't get it. At like the, why? At the, why at would the it? conference? No, 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 no. He doesn't play well with others. Period. He doesn't. He doesn't endorse anybody. He doesn't back anybody. And he's never going to leave Thailand. And he's had plenty of chances to come around and be part of the group. He doesn't want any part of the group. So well, he doesn't care who's there. He's not going. Basically. Yeah, yeah. He he initially endorsed it, and then he said that the whole thing was a farce, and every no one could be trusted but him. It's like <laughs> really, and no one, everyone. That is there. the most odd thing. I know. It's like whatever. It's like it, it, wow. it doesn't he's matter. He's, odd guy. he's he his secondary beliefs conflict with a lot of the producers, especially in the United States, and he's not going to do anything. So oh. I don't worry. And about he's him. going into no nukes, no dinosaurs, no rockets, no nothing. I mean, I've seen every other video. It's like, whoa, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, flat Earth. All right, but no it, nukes, no dinosaur. I mean, he's going none, everything. Yeah, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Have how you many, seen that? It's like I, nothing. I have, I have. Yeah, Eric is. I, I've I've offered the olive branch to him so many times that earlier in the year I just gave up and I said, okay, fine, you can do what you want. I don't care anymore because <laughs> yeah. at this point. I already know. I already know where you're going to go, and eventually you're going to run into uh, some roadblocks, and you're not going to be able to get around them. So, anyway, it's a shame because he's I such a smart guy. You know, you can tell. Yeah, he is. He is, yeah, but at the same sure. time, he, uh, I, I don't get into it, his secondary stuff. Anyway, well, guys, you know, you could be smart. And 
Okay, right. go for it. Uh, All right. right. But uh, we'll talk next week, I'm sure, and then uh, plan on me being mm-hmm. around you guys when we do the meetup in Los Angeles. Right on, yeah, Mark. We'll see you soon. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. All Thank right. you. Bye-bye. Okay, so we're going to wrap up the show. And that was a good call to end on. And I just want to uh, say a couple things before we sign off. Uh, the first thing was Kyrie Irving. I want to explain that real quick, which is you will see a lot of stories about Kyrie Irving, the bas- former basketball player for the Cleveland Cavaliers, who said just before the All-Star break, that he was into flat earth and he was completely on board and he did not back down from that. And that was in the beginning of February. I know cause I did all the videos back in February and covered all the, uh, the sports shows that covered him. And he did not back off of that for literally eight months up until a couple days ago. And think about it. If you're his agent and he's been traded from Cleveland to Boston, you need to, you only get one chance to make a first impression. He wants to make a good first impression. So he goes there and he gets to a radio station and that's, they're going to ask him and he starts backing off a little bit. He's going to, honestly, it was a miracle. Well, a small miracle anyway, that he lasted this long. Now he may do that publicly, but I almost guarantee privately that he's still telling people it's flat earth, but to a news organization's, he may not stand his ground while he's in Boston because, well, the Boston people, they want the, – if you're trading for a high-profile profile player, you want him to be rock solid in all aspects, including academically, mentally, whatever you want to call it. And so that's why he's doing it. So don't, don't think for a second that he – because he can't. He, you could tell. I mean, eight months, he's totally a flat earther. He's not going to be able to go back because he has nothing to go back to. He's not going to go back and say, oh, you know, it's absolutely a globe. He's not going to be preaching that. Now, at the same time, he's probably not going to be doing any flat earth meetups, but, you know, at least we had him for as long as we did. The other guy, of course, B.O.B., that's the 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 really big story, which is, oh, yeah, by the way, um, I'm going to be doing flat earth and other hot potatoes tomorrow. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, flat earth and other hot potatoes tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern with Patricia Steer, which should be a lot of fun. I think we're doing more of the awards nomination stuff for, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We're doing something. Uh, the other thing real quick, I got a minute left in that is uh, B.O.B., the rapper, Grammy nominated rapper. He's decided to do a GoFundMe campaign regarding Flat Earth and everybody's covering it. Don't think for a second this is an accident. The mainstream media could have completely ignored him. Yeah, it's an interesting story, but it was also an interesting story when he was talking about the time before and the time before that. So why are they giving it so much, so much press now? It's because they want it more in the media. They're, they're, we are getting help from the outside. Don't think that we're just doing this on our own. There's something else afoot here, and I'm still trying to figure out what that is. But when I figure it out, I'll let you know. I swear. So I got 30 seconds left until the show ends. Let's see what the peanut gallery has to say before I let you guys go. Oh, yeah, the hot potato show. Right, right, right. No Spice Girls. Yeah, remember, Flat Earth is like Spice Girls. A lot of people know about uh, about Flat Earth, but most of them aren't talking about it because of fear. Uh, thank you to the um, uh, Peanut Gallery for everything, all the research he does during the show. And uh, with a few seconds left before the music kicks in, what can I say to you guys, other than thank you for listening, and come back next week, because I will be here. Uh, same flat time, same flat chat. What is this? Is that a model of the flat, geocentric Earth? <laughs> I had to make a new one. What are you doing? <laughs> Dancing in the world.